Deep in the Blue Ridge Mountains, on the far edge of Eustace Conway's property line, he and apprentice Raleigh Avery are standing their ground and building a lookout cabin as a first line of defense against the rash of intruders stepping in on Eustace's new plot of land. Man, it's been crazy, all these trespassers. I mean, we've had squatters, we've had poachers, moonshiners. We need to establish a presence, really. We need people to know that we're here. <sighs> because I will scare them. <laughs> they don't want to mess with me. The quicker they can get the cabin built, the easier it will be to protect the land. But Eustace's methods take time to learn and to perfect. I don't know anything about this style of building, so this is going to be a great opportunity for me to learn. Each 16-foot board weighs approximately 200 pounds and needs to be hand-carved. Every corner gets a dovetail notch to lock the logs together. There's just a beautiful simplicity to the dovetail notch. It holds, it bonds. You don't need to have any nails. It's gonna be there forever. All right. That's pretty tight fit in there. That's gorgeous. Yeah, the, the base logs aren't that hard. You can just kind of roll them into place, but the higher you get up on the wall, the harder and harder it is to lift these heavy things. Just roll it on in place if you can. Okay. Oh, man. God almighty. And that tore that corner up. We got to figure out some way to pick these things up that's not so dangerous and hopefully it's a little faster. What about some heavy equipment or something? I don't mind using a new tool or trying something like a traco if it can save us holes in the floor yeah. and breaking a leg or something. My neighbor Frank owes me a favor and he's got a big old traco. If he's not using it, I might be able to borrow it. Let's go talk to him, see what we can do. Eustace is trying his hand at a new tool. I think he said these control that. Let me just push one. Let me see if I pull it, what happens. Whoa. It's really interesting working with this machine. It's, you know, you go from zero to 100 in about half a second here. So you just have to really be careful with these levers. Wow, that wasn't too bad. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to let it down. Lowering the logs into position requires precision to get the dovetail notches to interlock. And Eustace is learning as he goes. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! This might be the easiest job of stacking up cabin logs that I've ever had. I think we're going to get all these cabin logs up today after all, because th this is really speeding things up. It's not close enough. You come down a little bit more. Oh, Eustace! Oh. 200 pounds of raw timber have dealt Raleigh a crushing blow. What happened? By my hand. Oh, good Lord. That daggum log came down on it. Man. Let's sit down. I need to sit down. Yeah. It looks like it's jacked up right there. See if you can move it. No. Oh. <sighs> we need to get you to the hospital. Raleigh races to urgent care after suffering a crushing blow to his hand. I'm worried about Raleigh. Now, these logs are so heavy, they can easily crush all the bones in the hand. So what'd you do to this? Well, uh, the log dropped on it. Smashed it. Smashed it. Between two logs. OK. Point to me where it bothers you the most. But can you see that bulge right there? Yeah. Crazy. That's the pain there in this finger. I can't really move without it. Just without it really it's just like a, a nine out of 10. Right. I've never seen him express this level of pain, so I, I know it's got to be serious, because he's pretty tough to begin with. So you did break it. Oh, my God. You got it pretty good right in the shaft of it, and then break it in a couple pieces. So I don't think we need to rush you and go do any surgery on it. We'll be able to splint it. So that's good news. But we do need to protect it for a little while and let it heal, OK? The most important thing here is trying to take care of Raleigh's hand just because he's got a hurt hand. But at the same time, I, I know that somebody with a hurt hand can't do nearly as much work around the farm. So it might be a real limitation here. It will take at least three weeks before Raleigh will be out of the brace and six weeks before the bone heals completely. There's so much more to do on the cabin, and I'm not any good just sitting around with a broken hand. I came here to work and learn, so I need this hand to heal fast so we can get back on it.